Welcome everybody to a Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing right triangle side lengths today. So you use the Pythagorean theorem for this. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. We have which side lengths form a right triangle? Choose all answers that apply. Okay, so the principle of the Pythagorean theorem is that the two legs, the two smaller sides of the right triangle, meaning it has a 90 degree angle, squared and added together, so the sum of the squares of the two legs, equal the hypotenuse squared. So if we have a little diagram here, this is a free of charge diagram. Oof, that one was rough. Let me try that again. Okay, right angle. And then we have the hypotenuse, which is the longest side and always opposite the 90 degree angle, meaning the hypotenuse does not touch the 90 degree angle. Okay, now what we have to label here is A, B, and it doesn't matter between those two as long as they're both legs and the hypotenuse always has to be C. So what we need to try here is we need to try Squaring the two smaller legs, so for example, letter A, 3 squared plus 4 squared, does it equal 5 squared? Question mark. Then uh, letter B, does 7 squared plus 8 squared equal 9 squared? Question mark. And the last one, 3 squared plus 9 squared, does it equal square root of 95 squared? Okay, so we need to try to figure this out. For the first one, we know that 9 plus 16 does in fact equal 25, so A is going to be a correct choice. For, I should have used red. Why did I change it to, so we know that 9, no, here we go, 9 plus uh, 16, it does in fact equal, so we got check mark there. 7 squared is 49 plus 64 does not equal 81, so B is not an option here. And then we have 9 plus 81, does that equal the square root of 95 squared, which equals 95. Anytime you square a square root, it undoes the square root. And that does not equal, so the only option here is A. So we're going to choose A, and we're going to move on. All right, next one. Again, same deal. So we're just going to square each one of these, okay? And we're going to see here that if you square... These three, they're just multiples of the same three, four, five. That's an automatic triangle, so it's going to be C. Notice that it's going to be 30. You just multiply by 10 to each one of these, and you get 30, 40, 50. So because 30, 3, 4, 5 was true, 30, 40, 50 is going to be true. 9 plus uh, 36 is not equal to 64, so B is not an option. And then we have 4 plus 100, okay? This squared equals 4. 10 squared is 100. It does not equal 116. So it's only going to be B, oh, sorry, C for our final answer. All right, next question. Uh, we have here 9, 12, 15. Okay, so it's, what is it, 81 plus 144. Does that equal 225? I don't believe so. If we divide each one of these by 3, let's see if it has a similar scale for 3. Four. Yes, it does. It does, in fact, equal. So what I'm trying to say is, if you multiply this by 3, this is the 3, 4, 5 family, you get 9, 12, 15. And this is actually a true statement. It does equal 225. So C is an option for us. If you square the square root of 5, you get 5. If you square the square root of 5, let me just write this out so you can see it. These two legs squared, does it equal 50? And it does not. That's 10 is not equal to 50, so B is not an option. And then we have 25 plus 6 is equal to 31. This squared equals 31. This squared equals 6. And that is true. So we have A and C this time. Okay, last one. Choose all to apply. That was the tone for almost out of time. Okay, so we're going to square each one of these. So we have 9 plus 36. Does it equal 45? And yes, it does. It does equal 45. This one's a little bit more tricky because it's decimals. So let's see, is there a way to do this? Aha. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do here, uh, we can just type this into our calculator. Plus 6 squared equals 6.5 squared. Okay. Or we can say, okay, I'm going to multiply this by 2. So I have a proportionate sides or a proportion on both sides of the equal sign. So I get 5 squared plus 30. Uh, sorry, that's 12. I was multiplying by 2 plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. And this is true. This is the 5, 12, 13 triangle family. If you want to look up automatic triangles, this is what it's talking about here. So B is actually also going to be true. Then we have 16 plus 64, and that is not equal to 
is it equal to 80? It is equal to 80. So actually, all three of these, let me erase this, this is equal, is equal to 80. So we have all three of these are true for this last one. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you get 100% like we did here today. And I look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best.